What's up guys, my name is Delio. Today I have a little bit of bad news. Uh, so it turns out, in a video I made a couple weeks ago, I talked about SM2, which is a fan-made Call of Duty game made by the community for the community. Recently, they've changed from the Modern Warfare 2 engine to the MWR engine. And I made a video basically talking about that, and I gave a little bit of an overview on what this is going to mean for the future of the project. What I didn't expect is a couple weeks later, Activision would literally cease and desist this project. So, yeah, the project's done, and the team members and people on Twitter are voicing their opinions on this whole situation, because this is a complete devastation to the Call of Duty franchise. I had so much hope with this project, I thought this was gonna be the kick in the butt that Activision needs to make an actual good game, but it's over. Okay, so the official SM2 Twitter account tweeted this out. Today, a team member received a cease and desist letter on behalf of Activision Publishing in relation to the SM2 project. We are complying with this order and shutting down all operations permanently. Thank you for all your support over the past two years. So, it's over. And it's more than just this tweet. We have Sass, one of the main developers of this as well, saying that he had no idea this was even going to be a thing. Got Blue Ghost, those were amazing two years, so long. I didn't expect this to happen because I thought, you know, they're not making any money on this. They're not taking a profit. They're not even taking donations. Why would this get taken down? A fan-made project for the community. It makes no sense. The only thing I can think about is that Activision is terrified that this game was going to take over and, you know, just make their games irrelevant. That's the only reason why I think this even happened. Newsflash, Activision, how about you make an actual good game? How about that? How about you make a good game and maybe this won't even have to happen? I mean, the writing's on the wall. Why did people make this project? Why were people developing this over the past couple years? because your games suck. Ever since Modern Warfare 2019, they've ruined this franchise. They prioritized Warzone over multiplayer, the mode that made Call of Duty what it is today. People are fed up with the microtransactions and having basically zero progression. This is all on them, bro. There's a reason why this project existed, but it, it doesn't matter anymore since it's done. So to Simon, Sass, Blue Ghost, all you guys who are on the SM2 team, Thank you guys for your work. I was really anticipating this, and um, farewell. I hope whatever project you do next will be as fulfilling, but but this was a big undertaking, and I don't know. This this just ruined my day, bro. Uh, I was so excited for this, but it, at the end of the day, it's all because of Activision why this happened, so there's nothing we can really do about it. But the only thing we can do about it is speak our mind about this stuff, because I think it's pretty clear that we're getting tired of the way Activision is treating the Call of Duty franchise. And you better speak with your wallet instead of buying all these bundles all the time. I'd, I'd greatly appreciate that. And I'm pretty sure the vast majority of the Call of Duty community would also appreciate that as well. So we can actually see a change in this franchise. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you guys did and you want to see some other content, make sure to drop a like. If you guys want to see some other stuff, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications for other videos. And yeah, thanks so much for watching everybody. Hope you all have a wonderful day.